Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back. My name is Soraya. In today's tutorial, I'm gonna be showing you how I enhance a painting after I've blown it all out. So it's fluid pour painting. I blow it out, let it dry, and then I enhance it. And I add a lot of detail and a talk all the way through to give you an idea of what I'm thinking as I am painting. So let's see what happens. So I'm starting off with not a very big canvas, 24 by 30, nothing on it, plain, and I've got acrylic uh, black paint. I believe it was Amsterdam um, mixed with two parts Floetrol, one part paint. After I kind of poured it everywhere, I just blew it out and now I have a black background. I decided to pour down some creamy white uh, paint, uh, again, just in lines, just because I had an idea that I was going to be doing a swipe. But the white wasn't good enough, so I decided I'm gonna use the gold, give it a little bit of oomph, a little bit of pizzazz. And once I started um, swiping, it just wasn't going the way I thought it was gonna go. And um, then I ended up going a totally different direction, so just watch to see what happens. <laughs> So if you've watched my channel before, you know I don't like to give up and I was kind of disappointed that swiping technique that I had in mind really didn't work out for this painting. So this time I just decided to pour over and keep trying until I liked it. So I don't give up and I keep going until I see something that I really like. And I do get to that point you'll see very, very shortly. After that, I let it dry, I enhance it. That's the fun, that's the fun, fun part of this whole painting for me is when I get to enhance it. And I've got a tutorial for you so you know exactly what I'm doing. Now, you know, some people have said that I waste a lot of paint and I don't because the paint that goes overboard <laughs> gets used for something else. Like I do uh, create coasters and I dip my coasters in there and um, I have something totally brand new with the paint that already was there. Okay, so here it is from my side. Um, that took a little while to get to somewhere where I'd like and I do really like this now. Um, I'm gonna let it dry like usual and I'll see you back here in just one second. Here it is uh, dried up. I will definitely be uh, enhancing it. I'm finding this area a little bit too muddled. I want it whiter so I'm gonna work on it. Just stick with me. I'll be right back. I'm just using some Artist Love Titanium White. I'm gonna have this as the focal area so I'm gonna bring some of this to here. Just letting the brush deposit the color. Now a lot of people have asked me about my brush, what the name is. I really don't know. Some people have told me that it's Filbert brush. It's a Filbert. I'm not sure if that is exactly right or not, I, I can't say. But I know that I bought it many, many years ago. You can see I've got tape around it to keep it together. It wasn't very expensive brush. And um, I use it all the time. I've got a two or three of the same kind, different, uh, how they're a little bit bigger. Some are bigger and some are smaller. And um, I just keep using it because I love the way the effect it gives the effects that it does. Now, I really do love to enhance, and at this point, I am taking my time. I am not speeding up the video for you. I'm painting at exactly the rate that I would normally paint if you'd see me uh, painting live. Um, I take my time and I really think about how I want the painting to look. I stand back, I take a look. Can I add more here, a little bit less there? Should it be a bit blurry? I'm thinking about how I want the painting to look as I'm painting. 
to me, adding a focal point really makes a big difference to a painting. It really draws your eye in to that point. The rest is kind of supporting that one focal point. Just doing very lightly with the side of my brush and adding those kind of dots. Same thing with down here. Looks good. I'm using titanium white um, as my white, and you can see the difference the uh, white is compared to the other creamier white that I used in the painting. I love that contrast. So really you kind of have four colors in here, that creamy white, the black and gold, and then the titanium white. That was a big empty space here, so I usually don't like to leave very big open space. And especially because this is black, it kind of looks like it's a hole there. Um, so you just fill it up with some kind of color or pattern like this, and um, it makes it more interesting. Just take your time when you're doing this. Enjoy the process, don't stress. You can always wipe it off like I've been doing. You see something, you do something you don't like. It's water, it's acrylic paint, so it comes off super easy. And um, you can try again. It's the whole process, which is the beautiful thing. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. I'd love for you to be part of my YouTube channel family. So this is how it's looking so far. I think I'm gonna work on maybe this area here. a Little bit, just a little bit. Now my paintings have a lot of movement and that's because when I am painting, I'm putting something down as I am now, I think about that focal point and I um, paint towards or kind of have it pointing towards that focal point so that everything is kind of rushing towards that point. It's kind of my signature way of painting. As I'm painting in those lighter areas, you can see that there is definitely still a contrast because of that creamy white against the titanium white. And I did spend a lot of time um, enhancing those areas and making that creamy area in certain parts uh, be, uh, become more bright. You can see here the difference, uh, the addition of these this bit of white along the black and cream really make to the painting. I felt that adding these kind of dots, as I've referred to them before, was important because if you can see the top uh, left hand side of the painting has a bit of those naturally in the painting and um, that makes it more interesting to have that pattern repeated other places. This is the area that I was referring to and you can see that beautiful pattern. Now by adding that little bit of titanium white, it really makes that part stand out. So before it tried, I ended up adding these kind of lines. Um, of course, I forgot to press record. Now I'm finding that they're just a little bit kind of standing out too much and I want to blend them in. 
So I'm just going to see if I can add a little bit more gold around it. Maybe a combination of the gold and the white. So they look like they're just part of it rather than just a line. Instead, I'm going to try Oxide Black from Amsterdam. See if that kind of settles it in or if it's going to get too dark in here. You can always add a little bit of white if I want to gray it down a little bit. There you go. You see, it kind of like creates a shadow. I'm going to do that to all of them. So they're kind of coming through this dark area. It's a little bit too much here. That's better. This one already has some dark here. I'm going to maybe add it on this side. A little scary to do this, but I do have my um, paper towels ready. to this part. There you go. That's better. I think I will have to add a little bit of white after I'm done to the on down with this. Um, just to grate down just a little bit. Okay, and same thing with here. Now, when I've posted some pictures on my social media, sometimes I get a comment like, well, how did you enhance this? I don't see a difference. And I'm really happy when I do get a comment like that because um, the enhancement uh, made it so that it looked natural to the painting. And that's what I always try and do, that it makes it look like as if it's always been there right after I've blown it out. Okay, I'm going to go back and add a little bit of white to some of these, some of these down here, especially. I'm liking, I'm liking these ones here. These ones are a bit much. You see that, how much of a difference that makes? Um, you kind of see a shadow there and uh, works so much better that it's not just kind of floating around in there. It's kind of grounded. Now because there's a lot of gold up here, I'm going to bring it down here and add it just around here. Just to bring that sparkle down here. Now, depending on the gold that you're using, you probably have to go over uh, it a couple of times uh, just to really have that gold kind of stand out a little bit more. Okay, this is done. I love it. I hope you love it. Let me know what you think about it. Um, I love the movement in it and um, the focal point, everything kind of getting drawn to this point here. Um, simple colors, black, white, gold, bit of gray, of course, from the mixing of the black and white, but it's beautiful. And I didn't talk about this, but it kind of reminds me of smoke. Um, an interesting kind of different thing just to have left it there. You could see that there. I thought that was pretty cool. So I didn't want to remove that. So this is it. Let me know what you think about it. 
uh, click on the link you see now to see more of my enhanced pores and up close images are coming up. So I wanted to show you the before, very nice painting, nothing really wrong with it, but it's the addition of those enhancements that really make the painting, that focal point adds that extra special something.